ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭಾರಬ್ಧಾಂ ಶೇಷವ್ಯಾಸಾದಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈನೇಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಆದಿಶೇಷ ಸಿನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಲೈನೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಐ ಸೆಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಗುಕಾರಶ್ಚಂದಕಾರೋಹಿ ಋಕಾರಸ್ತೇಜ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಗ್ರಾಸಕಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರೇವನ ಸಂಶಯ ಗುಕಾರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ರುಕಾರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ರಿಮೂವ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗುರು ಗುರವೋ ಬಹವ ಸಂತಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ವಿತ್ತಾಪಹಾರಕಾ ಗುರವೋ ವಿರಲ ಸಂತಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಹೃತ್ತಾಪಹಾರಕಾ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹು ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ದ ಮನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹು ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ದಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ time according to me t i m e time the infinite moment of energy those who respect energy they should respect time those who pass the time get failed by the time because time is dispassionate merciless time is infinitely moving on its own course through its own consciousness so let us respect time ಮಹಾಕಾಲ ಅ ಮದರ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಡಾಟರ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮದರ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ and the daughter fish said mommy i am not seeing any water around me and the mother fish said my dear child we are pervaded with water it is the water which gave birth to us and when we die we merge in water we are water inside we are water outside and the daughter fish said i don't see any water around me there is no proof what is the proof that there is water around us and mother fish said my dear child you should have faith on my words you should believe my words we are water inside we are water outside and the daughter fish said no i don't believe you because i am not seeing any water anywhere again mother said we are completely surrounded by water it's a large body of water again daughter fish said i am not seeing any water give me a proof then the mother fish said okay go up keep on going up keep on going up and later on when you feel like coming down you come down then you later you tell me what do you see and the daughter fish accepted the challenge it kept on going up 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 and when it crossed the surface of the ocean it went above the surface of water and there it became breathless when it became breathless it felt suffocation when it felt suffocation it is looking down it is seeing a large infinite body of water and then the fish understood that i was inside water till now and i never understood this water and when i come out of water i am becoming lifeless and breathless and then the daughter fish came down it met its own mother and then it told the mother mommy i am so happy that till now i have been in water today you made me realize this sacred truth we are all surrounded by the consciousness we are inside the divine consciousness we are outside the divine consciousness it is the divine consciousness which created us but we are pleasantly unaware of it 
because we have become the slaves of our bodies we have become the slaves of our senses and we don't really know just like the daughter fish does not know that it is surrounded by water even we don't know okay this story is the story of kundalini yoga as i have told where the daughter fish goes up up and up in the same way we have to make our kundalini rise up up and up yoga's culmination is samadhi when we reach samadhi we are breathless we are lifeless then we understand the origin of life and the secret of creation so my intention of this presentation or speech is only to make people aware that the daughter fish was ignorant and the daughter fish became aware that it was surrounded by water same way my effort now is most of the people are ignorant that we are surrounded by the consciousness let us understand that we are the embodiment of consciousness that's why i told the first three shlokas okay to continue no more interruption for me please vela vyasa if there is a holy tradition in the whole of the world that is the vedic tradition rigveda was written 8000 years before christ and veda vyasa was the one who divided the holy vedas into four sections rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharvana veda but the pity is that the vedas are read by foreigners more indians less many christians have bible at home many muslims have quran namaz ramzan ramzan holy month what about hindus how many of us read bhagavad gita when we think of yoga only we think of patanjali we are not thinking of vyasa vyasa was the one who gave a first definition of yoga in the beginning before vyasa there were so many saints who also gave a definition of yoga in the upanishads but only patanjali has been hyped because only some physical practices have been hyped and the real practice real culmination real goal of yoga people are not fit for it maybe because yoga became a method of marketing or for sales we are very happy that we have international day of yoga but it should truly become an international day of yoga where everybody should be able to realize their own self as dr swami geeta nandagiri used to say always the final goal of yoga is self realization final goal of yoga is not health health is a added benefit when you start practicing yoga you will have health by yourself because health you had earlier you lost it because of social conditioning you lost it because of lifestyle but the goal of yoga is not health the goal of yoga is self realization that's why i told the story of daughter fish and mother fish so i'll always say patanjali is the greatest scientist of this world veda vyasa is the greatest philosopher of this world and adi shankar is the greatest teacher of this world patanjali is the greatest scientist of this world mobile phones please switch off otherwise come you i'll come there i'll snatch your mobile okay concentration yamaniyam asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi dharana concentration dhyana contemplation this mobile phone has become a latest nuisance in the name of all the 3g 4g 5g we have really forgotten the real technology here body is a great technology mind is a great technology that we have forgotten the real engineer is inside that we have forgotten we are only admiring all the scientists and engineers but the true engineer is within us so mobile phones it should not ring again i'll come and snatch i am a professor in engineering college i'll be very strict on engineering college students also okay this will distract me from my regular flow of speech that's why okay where was i patanjali is the greatest scientist of the world he made of again see <laughs> how many of you are really fit for receiving my speech <laughs> i'll tell a small story a great philosopher came to a village and he kept on calling the villagers come to me come to me i am ready with the vast knowledge and i am ready to dispel it to you please come to me till evening nobody came because they were all busy with their mundane activities 
After sunset, one cowherd boy came. And the cowherd boy, when he came, the scholar said, since morning I have been calling people and you came in the evening. And the cowherd boy said, in my cow shed if there are 100 cows and if one cow is hungry, I will not leave it hungry, I will feed it. And the person understood, the scholar understood, he kept on speaking, 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 philosophy, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, till 12 o'clock, night 1 o'clock, he kept on speaking. After few many hours of speaking, finally he said, how was my speech? Then the cowherd boy said, in my cow shed if there are 100 cows, and if one cow is hungry, I will not feed the food of 100 cows to one cow. <laughs> how many hungry cows here? Hmm? That is why sacred things should be delivered only to those people who are fit. In the Gurukula system, we screen the student before taking the student. In my system, I screen the student. I make him challenged. No meat eating, no cigarette smoking, no liquor. Madhyapana, Dhumrapana, Mamsahara. If these three are not there, then come to me, I will teach you yoga. This has been my condition. And I have been strict. Only then we will have quality people. Otherwise, only weeds will grow, as I told you. We have to make crops to grow. Let us say a seed is sprouting. I will put water. I will put manure. But the seed should give me a promise that it will become a big tree in future. Okay. I have been telling in my blogs also. Dr. Swami Gitananda Giri, a great icon in South India. Swami Shivananda, he was also a doctor. He was a great icon in North India. These are the two great personalities who made yoga popular all over throughout India with a great sacrifice and great amount of education. Are we fit to follow the path? we should become fit for receiving this. This has been a request with younger generation especially. Our younger generation is really very vibrant, very open, but not committed. When you become committed, you will become old. At that time, you cannot study. In the young age, you should study Bhagavad Gita. In the old age, you cannot study Bhagavad Gita because you will not have that much of energy. You may not understand Bhagavad Gita at that time. Okay. Story. One story I told. I will continue because otherwise uh, stories keep on coming in my path. Vedavyasa, he said one sentence, Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma, the story of my daughter fish and mother fish. Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma, the whole space is divine. According to science and technology, space is empty. But my question, if space is empty, in the empty space, how air comes? How oxygen comes? How nitrogen comes? How hydrogen comes? If space is empty, if space is empty, how gravity comes? How planets revolve around sun? How all satellites revolve around the planet? How is this force coming into picture? So the first foremost thing, space cannot be empty. Because anything which is empty cannot create anything else. From space, air. After air, fire. After fire, water. After water, earth. Prithvi, Apas, Tejas, Vayu, Akasha. And the science says space is empty. Spirituality says space is full. Space cannot be empty. I have an expansion for space. S P A C E. Systematically planned action of energy and consciousness. Consciousness and energy. S P A C E. Systematically planned action of consciousness and energy. Otherwise, how an empty space can create? the air which we are breathing in right now. How H2 and O2 will combine, how it will become water. We have a lot of water scarcity. We have a lot of cover issues. We have a lot of problems regarding the drinking water. Now, can we synthesize the drinking water by putting two cylinders, hydrogen cylinder, oxygen cylinder, combine them together. Let us have water. Why should I have a crisis for water? Why should we fight for water? Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, always fighting for water. Why should we? But is it possible to synthesize such water molecule? No. Because there is a consciousness. The consciousness plans, let hydrogen and oxygen merge together, let it become water molecule. Through water, let it become life. So, science says space is empty. Spirituality says space is full. That is why I say Vyasa is the greatest philosopher. Patanjali, greatest scientist. Why? Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Samadhi is the ultimate goal. But how will you become fit for obtaining Samadhi? You should have character. Yama. You should have responsibility. Niyama. One is with the society you should live. 
One is with yourself you should be content. So, Ahimsa Satya Asteya Brahmacharya Aparigraha for the society. Shaucha Santosha Tapaswadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhana for your own self. If these two are already there, then you practice asana, it makes a sense. Then you practice pranayama, it makes a sense. Otherwise, Adi Shankara makes a mockery of the yogis. Adi Shankara says, the one who practices asana without any character building is like a dead tree. Lift your hand, hold it like that. Even a dead tree stands like that. Asana is not a circus. Okay, Yogasana is not a physical exercise. Yogasana is a some other character building, self-control mechanism. If you can control your own body, if you can control your own breath, then you can control your own mind. When you cannot control your own body, you think of controlling the whole world. What is the point? Self-control is the best control. Self-control is the toughest control. So, with all my students, I do not want to control any students. I tell them, control yourself. I do not want my students to respect me. I tell them, respect yourself. Do not give respect and take respect. Keep your respect for yourself. I will keep my respect for myself. That is why I say Patanjali is the greatest scientist of this world. All other scientists are working out with the external material. Patanjali worked out with four antakkarana, manas, Chitta, Buddhi, Ahankara. He is the one who worked out exercises for these four inner things. That is why Patanjali is the greatest scientist of the world. Vyasa is the greatest philosopher of, of the world, I have already told. Adi Shankara is the greatest teacher of this world. Now, do not bring Dvaita, Advaita, Vishishta, all that. No, sorry. They are all opinions where people fight. Okay. Adi Shankara directly told, you are divine, do not search for any divinity outside, because all the divinity is already within. Adi Shankara did not tell anything new, he told already whatever Vyasa told, but Adi Shankara told it as a direct hit, direct method. Vyasa told in many indirect ways, Adi Shankara thought, if at all indirect approach is worked out, these people will never realize anything, these people will remain like this. Then Adi Shankara made a strong decision. Everybody should understand that they are basically divine. They are not the body, they are not the mind. Each one individually is basically divine. You see a lot of flowers here. Tell me, in the blooming of these beautiful flowers, is there the role of the plant? Is there the role of the seed? Or is there the role of the consciousness? Is this plant intelligent to make the flower bloom? Red soil, green leaf, beautiful blue, yellow, green flowers. How these beautiful flowers get created? Is the plant creating them? We are mistaken thinking that plant is yielding fruits. Trees are yielding color, color mangoes, sweet mangoes. Sorry. Plant and the fruit and the flower all are created by the creator. They are only instrumental. Our parents are only instrumental. Our parents cannot say they created us. Bodies came out of the mother's womb. That's all. Parents were instrumental. It is the one who is inside. He only created us. Ajayamano bahudha vijayate purusha suktam. Ajayamana bahudha vijayate. The one who is non-born, he is making many creatures born. That is why Veda Vyasa, greatest philosopher, Adi Shankara, greatest teacher of this world. But the funny thing, Indians do not know what wealth they have in their spiritual tradition. That is the pity. My effort is to fill this gap somehow. Otherwise, 0 g, 1 g, 2 g, 3 g, they keep on coming, people get lost in this bloody stupid technology which is outside. They do not understand the technology which is inside already. Non-committed students. Huh? Sarvam Khalo Idam Brahma. Okay, what is Brahma? Dr. Ananda, you should forgive me. More interruption means my speech will become slightly more delayed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you want me to stop, you please ask me. I'll stop there. Brahmati iti Brahma. Let us say we sit in on a particular spaceship where let us assume we have infinite life and let us assume we have infinite fuel and let us keep on traveling in the universe. 
can we find the end of the universe? We will cross the solar system, we will cross the Milky Way galaxy, we will keep on crossing all over. Can we find the end of the universe? Whenever you mark something ends, then something starts. Pondicherry ends, Chennai starts. Tamil Nadu ends, Karnataka starts. India ends, China starts. Asia ends, Europe starts. Earth ends, Venus starts. Solar system ends, some other star system starts. When you say anything is ending there, you should define what is starting afterwards, is not it? Whenever you say something is ending, you should also say because end is concluded by another beginning. Can the universe end? Universe is endless. Universe is not subjected to space and time. Space and time is part of the universe, but space and time Universe is not subjected to those conditions. That is why Brahmati iti Brahma, the one which ever expands is Brahman. The one you cannot measure, that is Brahman. Sarvam Kaluidam Brahma. Everything is filled with Brahman. We are inside Brahman. Remember my first story, mother fish, daughter fish. Okay, I will go faster. If this is the case, why are we ignorant then? Why do we do not know that? We are all embodiment of the consciousness, we are all divine, reason. Form and name are provided only to the body by nature and by parents respectively. When I was born, my mother thought she held me in her womb for 9 months. My mother went into an illusion that she created me. Five, my father went into an illusion that he created me. And they kept me name, Aravinda is the name of name given to the body. Let us say someone, someone else Aravinda is there here also. Let us say, I will say, Aravinda is a donkey. Immediately what he will think? The person who is having Aravinda, he will think, I am scolding him. But Aravinda is the name given to a particular body by parents. This is called social conditioning. Later on, you keep on identifying yourself with your own name. Okay. Satchit Ananda, Satchit Ananda, people say, we have Dr. Ananda here. Okay. People say, I have my student Satchit Ananda in my class. In every class, he keeps saying, I am not happy. His name is Sachidananda. He keeps saying, I am not happy. My friends are disturbing. My relatives are disturbing. When I come to yoga class, people make mockery of me. I said, yes. Because they are also not happy. They do not want you also to be happy. Name. We identify with our name. Then we later identify with our body. In the present education, we do not have a Brahma Vidya in our syllabus in the beginning. In the Vedic education, in the beginning, there was Brahma Vidya. Brahmacharya, Garhastya, Vanaprastya, Sanyasa. That was the order of the education. But now, in the education, we do not have spiritual teaching at all. We only have professional teaching. And people, if they do not remain ignorant, what else they should be? Okay. So, form and name are provided only to the body by nature. Body is given by nature, name is given by the parents. These two are the first reasons for ignorance that you are the body. Next, but ego identifies itself with the form and name which is due to natural maya. We have two maya here. One is the natural maya, one is the human maya. I will come to that. In its normal course of life, the ego does not put efforts to understand its true nature. The ego identifies itself with the body and it decorates the body. Goes to gym, builds up muscle and the person thinks he has power, he has strength. He has no strength to face his own death after a few years. Ego keeps on thinking, I am beautiful. What is beauty? Beauty is not a personal property. Beauty is a divine creation. You can see the witnesses here. You can see the proofs here. Beauty is not a personal property. Let our ladies not get disheartened. Let our young girls, beautiful girls, let not get disheartened. They put a lot of makeup there also. Let them not get disheartened. But beauty is not your own commodity. Beauty is a natural outcome out of divine creation. Sorry, what happened? This is due to mental conditioning, which is due to social maya. There is a natural maya, there is a social maya, two types of illusion. And people have forgotten that they are basically divine. God created maya with a divine purpose. Man started maya with a mundane purpose. God created maya. Can you give an example? Mother, kids, there must be a feeling among them. Now, Amaji here, Ananda here. Ananda should feel for his mother. Amaji should feel for her son. This natural bonding should be there. 
If the natural bonding should not be, is not there, then when Ananda is born, Ammaji would not feed milk from her own breast. Yes or no? Yes or no? All the mothers, they should have longing towards their children. That is called natural maya. When a hen lays some eggs, the hen will have attachment towards its own eggs. If it has attachment towards its own eggs, then only it will incubate them. It will, it will sit on the eggs and egg will yield chicken after some time, chicks after some time. If the hen does not feel for the eggs, eggs life will not come out of it. That is the God created maya which is necessary. All the parents should have feeling towards their children. That is necessary. That is why Taitriya Upanishad said what? Matra Devo Bhava, Pitra Devo Bhava, Acharya Devo Bhava, Atiti Devo Bhava. God is within mother, God is within father, God is within the teacher. God is within the guest. Okay. That is the God created Maya. But man started Maya with a mundane purpose. Assets, name, fame, prestige, power. At the end of the day becoming powerless, losing everything, going away. Now, God's Maya is love towards the people, emotions, children, parents, relatives. I have told the examples. Man's Maya is love towards the things, thoughts, wealth, status, power. I keep on telling, children play with the smaller toys, adults play with bigger toys. Children play with plastic cars, adults play with Benz cars, Audi cars. Yeah? Children play with a small plastic house, adults play with Shoba developer flats. 3 BHK, 4 BHK, 10 BHK, estate, farmhouse. When do you understand you are divine? You will never get a chance because you are lost in the social conditioning. The process of yoga, wherever you go, take a U-turn, come back. If you keep on going that direction, if you think you will realize your goal, stupidity, change your direction, come back. Because philosophy, spirituality is this side. Technology is taking you other side. Technology will not assure you the goal at all. You are lost in the maya. In fact, God's maya is very much necessary. Man's maya, we don't know when it will end, unless people realize. Swami Vivekananda had told earlier, no? In the name of religion, so many battles have happened, killings, murders have happened. They are happening today also. In the name of religion, in the name of God. Yes? The real God is thinking, stupid fools. I sent them there, I created them. They are fighting among each other without realizing themselves, without realizing me. Okay? Sorry, what is this? Oh, there is one more. There is one more slide there. Obha, moha, mada, matsara. Because of this ignorance, first we have desire, kama. Krodha, if desire is unfulfilled, we have anger, krodha. If desire is fulfilled, we have lobha. And kama, krodha, lobha, moha. If the desire keeps on getting fulfilled, if I keep on getting whatever I expect, whatever I want, then I will have more passion towards it. Then I will become arrogant. Kama, krodha, lobha, moha, mada. And whatever I have, I have arrogance towards it. Whatever I don't have, if I see somebody else having it, I will have jealousy. Jealousy is the meanest thing among human beings. Because of these six enemies, shed wires, we have these eight types of arrogances. Arrogance of money, arrogance of knowledge, arrogance of caste, arrogance of appearance, arrogance of youth, arrogance of strength, arrogance of family, arrogance of position. Dhanamada, Vidyamada, Kulamada, Rupamada, Yavvanamada, Balamada, Parivaramada, Adhikaramada. These are the eight types of arrogances which are causing the downfall of any intellectual or wiser person. Reason is ignorance. Okay. Now what is health? My topic here is spiritual health through yoga. What is health? Dharmartha Kama Mokshanam Arogyam Moolam Uttamam Rogatasya Apahartaraha Shreyasaha Jeevitasya Cha Told by Charaka Samhita. And... Samadosha samagnishya samadhatu malakriyaha prasanna atma indriya manaha swastha itya vidhiyate sushruta samhita. Coming to spiritual health, which is my topic today. Physical health, its purpose is working ability, its outcome is useful body. We had a session through Dr. Meena and we had some exercises here. That is for working ability, useful body. Then why do we practice meditation? Mental health to keep the memory clean and we have peaceful mind. Spiritual health self-realization and it is for a useful soul. Is full body and peaceful mind will be useful. Body, birth of divine you. I had already told our birth, our creation, it has a purpose. Adi Shankara directly says, he who denies God, denies himself. 
whoever denies God, they deny themselves. Because if you are there, you should find out how you are here. What is your existence here? What may be the reason behind it? Creator should be there. Through creator only creation should happen. And mind, move inward, now discover. Your mind keeps on moving outward through your own sense organs. Unless you make an effort, take a U-turn and come back, come inside, you will never be able to control your mind because you are a slave of your senses. Soul, source of unconditional love. The love which human beings have for each other, there will be some condition for it. But when God creates mangoes, God creates rice grain, one rice grain, one rice plant in its lifetime, 400, 500 rices, which bank gives you such compound interest? One mango in its lifetime, how many mangoes? God created, unconditional love. If at all a man has a farmhouse, if at all one mango tree, some mangoes are rotten, man will have its blood pressure reason. Mangoes are rotten. God created unconditional. So, soul is source of unconditional love. And life is living in further evolution. Every day, next year, let us say this year we are celebrating International Day of Yoga. We are proud, we are happy. But next year when we celebrate the International Day of Yoga, one year we should think, did we really go towards the real goal? Or did we keep on practicing only some physical exercises? Are we becoming fit enough for the asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi? Or are we keep simply doing what Adi Shankara said? Hmm? So, living in further evolution. People, people are proud through technical accomplishments. World is full of people. Homo sapiens, human beings, we think we are intelligent. Which is having one senseless. Reptiles, how many senses they have? Reptiles do not communicate through words. Snakes do not communicate through words. Insects do not communicate through words. Birds chirp and sing. Mammals also make a sound. Humans we speak through our language. The ones which they do not have ears, okay, when they do not have ears, one sense is less. That is these reptiles. Then insects, one sense less. What about fish? How many senses they have? How many senses fish have? Fish do not have nose. Fish cannot smell. If fish can smell, it will faint through its own smell. <laughs> fish is not having smelling organ and it is not necessary for the fish. Okay. Can you think of a creature which is one sense further less? Worms, how many senses they have? All the worms are blind. Worms do not have eyes. They have only taste and touch, skin and mouth. That is all. So, worms are one senseless. Can you think of a life form which is another one senseless? Plants. Plants have a sense of touch. Now, when the creeper is going around a tree, the creeper is actually touching the tree. It is feeling the tree. Gradually, it is sucking its uh, nutrients from the tree and it is growing up. That means, the creeper can actually have a sense of touch. All plants have a sense of touch. Negrodha audumburu ashwatta shchanu randra nishudana Vishnu sasanama stutra. Negrodha audumbara ashwatta. Negrodha banyan tree audumbara attiyamara we say in Kannada. I do not know in English what do they say. Attiyamara audumbara datatrayas symbol of tree. And negrodha audumbara ashwatta people tree sacred people tree ancient people identified these plants or these trees can actually feel the presence. They have aura around them. So, they made a custom go around those trees. You will absorb the aura of those sacred plants. So, plants have one sense, worms have two senses, fishes have three senses, insects have four senses, birds and mammals have five senses, humans are nonsense. <laughs> We have not understood our own body, we have not understood our own mind. We are in the process of finding out whether there is water on Mars, whether there is life in the other galaxy. Here we have life, we are not valuing it, we are bothered about how life came into picture in the first place. Some meteor hit our earth and life originated. We are grossly mistaken. We have not understood our own creator. 
we think some other meteor comes here and some other seed plant comes from some alien planet and we are born. Those who see all the sci-fi movies, Star Wars and Avatar and such movies, you will think that all aliens have sacred silly shapes and with tails and nonsense organs like that. Actually, it is not so. Body is very well engineered, body is very well planned. You drink water, you eat food. How much complicated it is to get digested, do you know? Medical college students, students should know. If the medical college students understand their body is divine, from tomorrow they will not eat pizza. Yeah? <laughs> you will respect your food. Okay. So, plant. Are we not evolving then? Who is making us evolve? From one sense, two sense, three sense, four sense, five sense. Who is making us evolve? The creator is making us evolve. Can you tell me a life form? There is life and there is no sense. There is life form, there is no sense. Can you give an example of a life form? The cells, all bacteria, all viruses, all red blood cells, all white blood cells, they are all conscious. Medical community will be knowing about lymphocytes. They study a lot about RBCs and WBCs. Each and every white blood cell can identify its own enemy, right? And all white blood cells can collect together, attack an enemy, attack a bacteria, right? And we develop drugs to kill that particular bacteria. In turn, we kill those WBCs also. Each and every cell is conscious. Each and every cell has life. But cells have no sense. Our body is completely made up of nonsense cells. Actually, you are not you. You are a collection of billions of red blood cells, trillions of neuron cells. That is all. Your body is working through your own cells which are inside you. They are more intelligent than you. They know who is their enemy, who is their friend. So, zero cell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will conclude. Yeah, I should conclude. Okay. So, this is a example of evolution. You can see right from molecules, atoms, cells, tissues, organs, body system, organism, population, community and ecosystem. And this is what Kathopanishad says, Anoraniyan, Mahatomiyan, Atma Sejantur Nihito Guhayam, Tamakkatu Pashyati Vita Choko, Dhatu Prasadan Mahimana Atmanaha. Anoraniyan Mahato Mahiyan, the one who is inside the macrocosm, who is inside the macrocosm, Mahato Mahiyan Anoraniyan, Tam Akratu Pashyati Vita Shokaha, the one who, ones who have conquered their own inner prejudices, inner ignorances, they only will realize that Dhatu Prasadat Mahimanam Atmanaha, they only will realize their own sacred self. The self is present in the cave of the creatures as smaller than the smallest and greater than whatever I told already. Now, just look at this. We have incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narasimha, Vamana, Parasharama, Rama, Krishna, Buddha, Kalki. Great sage Adishankara, then poet Jayadeva, then Purandardasa, they all hail this particular method of avatara, incarnation. Whatever I told, Matsya, three cents, Kurma, right from water to the earth, life is moving, amphibian stage. Varaha, only on earth. Narasimha, transformation from beast to man. Vamana, completely man, completely human being. Those five stages are physical evolution. After that, Parasharama, the one who makes weapons and protects himself, Parasharama. Then comes Rama, the one who has a sensory control, Maryada Purushottama Rama, Pitravakya Paripalaka Rama, Kodanda Rama, Sita Rama, the one who is committed for his promises, the person who becomes more and more noble. Then becomes Krishna. Krishna is a highly logical state of Rama. If in place of Krishna, if Rama would have been there, something else would have happened. If in place of Rama, Krishna would have been there, what would have happened? Ravana would not kidnap Sita. Krishna would have had Mandodri come that side. Because Krishna is logic. Rama is commitment, fine, but Krishna is logic. Rama, Krishna, Buddha, Buddha is the realized one. Kalki is the present state. This is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, whatever I have told. This is one more sacred truth. Consciousness, energy, six energies. Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha, Prana. Six things. Six things is Shanmukha. Prithvi, Apa, Stages, Vayu, Akasha. From the earth element, life is born. That is what is Ganapati. In the earth element, there are sense organs with the different classification. Zero till five senses. That is Gana groups. Ganapati, earth element. Okay. Energies I have told. 
senses I have told you, elements I have told you. Now, I will conclude in the next 5 to 10 minutes. What is actually yoga? Your origination in God's action. It is God who created us, God who is maintaining us, God is going to gradually make us leave our body. Why O G A? Your origination in God's action. There is intelligence in the sperm to swim towards the ovum man to merge. There is intelligence in the mother's body to develop zygote into an embryo. There is in the child's body to start breathing after its birth. There is intelligence in the mother's body to produce milk after childbirth. And there is in the child's body to suck milk from mother's breast. And there is in the adult's body the, to stop breathing at the time of death. All these processes are not within our control because there is intelligence within us. That is your origination in God's action. Manas chitta, buddhi, ahankara, four horses, inside Arjuna, outside Krishna. Do not mistake Krishna as the slave or charioter. Do not mistake Krishna as the servant. He is the one who is making the horses to move. Arjuna is using the body. Chariot is the body. Arjuna is using the body. That is all. Arjuna should not say that I am the owner of the body. Krishna is the actual owner of the body. So, I said all this. Whatever mind, ego, intellect, all of you already know all this. I told you in the beginning, we should not think only about Patanjali. We should think about Veda Vyasa. 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita. Each and every chapter has a name called Yoga. Right from Arjuna Vishada Yoga till Moksha Sanyasa Yoga. And why are we not reading Bhagavad Gita? Because we think that that is not yoga. Actually, that is the real yoga. Other things are uh, scientific methods given by Patanjali. So, I have told Arjuna's Shankha. Was it, what is it called? Arjuna's Shankha is called Devadatta. Krishna's Shankha is called Panchajanya. Hindus, wake up. Krishna's Shankha is called Panchajanya. Panchajana, out of the five elements, sound is born. Panchajanya, Krishna's Shankha, Arjuna's Shankha, Deva, Datta. Now, I am blowing, I have been blowing my Shankha from last 45 minutes. This is my Shankha, vocal cord, given by God only. That is why Deva, Datta. What is yoga? Yujyate anena iti yoga ha. Okay. Yeah. Shall I stop now? Okay. Okay, okay. I will quickly go through slides. If they, if they want it. <laughs> okay. I will just show you the definitions of yoga. I can share this with all of you, if you want. Okay. Just for my own satisfaction, I am showing you my slides. Sri Chakra, such a great symbol. This is the process of yoga. Dot is the kundalini. And that, that triangles are the five chakras. At the top, there are two other chakras, Ajna and Sahasrara, lotus flowers. And those four areas, Bhupura, Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti, Turiya. This is a very sacred symbol. Okay, with that, I conclude. For more details, my students have created a website. And I have put uh, even Ananda's some contributions literature into my website. You can go through it. I have written a book called Paramavidya. It is available online. If you want more details, you can read it. Thank you very much for listening to me for this much time. Professor Madan Mohan, sir, to please come up and honor the speaker with a memento. Sir, please, one minute. Madan Mohan, sir, sir, please come up to honor. We are shortly beginning with the inaugural ceremony of this seminar, so please bear with us. <laughs>